hello people with the spirit of learning welcome back into my youtube channel and i'm sorry that it has been long time that i haven't updated my youtube videos because i was so busy in my new office all right so in this video we're gonna learn about flutter oh no in this video we're gonna learn about kotlin okay so we're gonna learn how do we uh, build the android application with the kotlin so make sure you just start new project and next here and then here we could just first kotlin okay and you have to choose the language of the programming language so i'm going to use the kotlin here and then for the api just stick together with uh, 20 or you could also just 21 okay so whenever you choose the 21 is gonna be a uh, get the highest uh, percent so i think it's in the middle all right that's no problem and yeah this is the kotlin and we're gonna save the project into our uh, desktop okay just save it into the desktop uh, i'm sorry previous and then next so it has to be into the uh, first kotlin okay and then we're gonna save it just a finish okay and it's gonna create a new directory into your uh, desktop okay it's a good started all right so we're gonna start with the simple things like maybe hello what oh it's kind of boring <laughs> so we're gonna uh, create uh, an application but with a good design so make sure you got this xml and then you got the main activity dot kt okay so this is the kotlin and so the layout decoration over here I'm going to use the middle one which is the pixel XL and it's gonna be more uh, uh, more better for any emulator okay so as for now we have to remove this the uh, navigation bar so I'm going to the styles and I just want to remove it to the uh, no action bar okay goodbye okay so for the color I don't really have the good color as for now but I think we could just go to colors and then i'm going to choose this a uh, green color to another color because i prefer like maybe uh blue like this okay and we got this code okay so you got the blue over here cool okay so as for now i just want to give the background here into the blue color to make it a little bit match you know that what i meant okay so we got hello world here ho 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 it's very nice i think that uh, kotlin is a little bit faster from uh, java language so that's why we have to move into kotlin as for now okay so let's get started so today i'm going to design the splash screen maybe just for, for the splash screen so over here i'm going to uh, make the id this is for the uh, welcome greetings okay just like this welcome greeting okay and I'm going to copy this ID and go to Kotlin to make the uh, file. Okay, so this is for the text view. And then we have to uh, find it by the ID. So we use the equal, and then this is supposed to be a find our ID welcome greeting. Okay, no more semicolons. You, you don't have to, just like this and then yeah this is for the uh, uh, targeting a new variable okay and then this is to change the text okay so welcome greeting i'm going to change text to the uh my sorry kotlin first okay that's all okay so basically the the origin value is the hello world and then I'm going to replace the value with the Kotlin over here. We have to select them. We have to create a new variable and then the type of the variable is a text view and then we find it by the ID by targeting this ID. Okay. So then after that, we got the ID and we are able to customize them or whatever we want. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to replace the new value with the Kotlin first. All right so it's amazing before that i want to change the text color to be a white color and then the text size 
maybe a little bit bigger like maybe 42 sp okay yeah this is with the uh, hello world but we're gonna replace them believe me it works okay so we're gonna run it into your favorite emulator in this case i'm using the pixel xl api 25 you see that the the origin value it has been replaced with the new version of the value because we were replacing this uh we were replacing this uh, value with the kotlin over here and it's quite nice isn't it so yeah it's very nice that we are going to learn kotlin deeper and deeper and more deeper in this uh youtube channel so yeah just for the getting started i hope you're gonna like it so please let me know if we want to continue this tutorial series so just uh, subscribe and then comment in my youtube channel okay i'll see you in the next video so goodbye for now bye